right, gentlemen, we are hit the countdown here. We're gonna get all our, our weaponry sighted in just to make sure we're on par uh, for, the, uh, for the, the pork slam. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Let me see, I need one more air hose. Depending on if you're a lefty or a righty, um, you know, uh, kind of feel like where, you know, where's all your your air coming from or going to. So uh, this fill nipple is on the passenger side of the car, so I uh, gotta have the extendo. So let's get some air in this beast. Okay. So this baby aired up. Is on so I can see what's going on. Say safe, safe. Open this. Open that. Let's put some. Put some. We're doing the 173s today. I got my official bullet pusher. I don't know how well these are going to work, but uh, it's, uh, I think I'd like something with a slightly bigger base to it, but uh, it's the old uh, uh, golf tee here. Uh, bugs, bugs, bugs. Yeah, today is cranking hot. Uh, I got the tent up. It's in the afternoon, but uh, it's still like 88 degrees. It's 3 o'clock. This worked most of the time, but I think I need to have a bigger, something bigger in the palm. I gotta talk. I know what I gotta do. I gotta talk to my good friend Ian White at BigAirGun.com because uh, Ian is the master of tools. See if he can make me something with a kind of more of a palm swell with a nice point. Oh. And one of you guys turned me on to having your own personal fan uh, battery operated so I'm pretty stoked about that so okay so we're in semi down fire let's see Gonna go take a look. Safety. Always safety first, gentlemen. Um, since I'm using the thermal, I kind of hit this with the little blowtorch to heat it up, so it would be a little bit, you know, pick it up. And uh, these two shots are touching right there. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. Um, that's fantastic. So I think I would venture to say that this is pretty much spot on. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's the, uh, uh, the 357 Rattler. Um, maxed out for power with the 173 grain. Um, close to 270 foot pounds. Yeah, excited. semi oh my there is an animal of ill repute
think I got the animal ir irrepute. Uh, the first round of rapid fire was right here. I'm just a little bit right of center. Again, this is a thermal, so it's really hard to see. Uh, so, one, two, three, nine. Looks like nine right there. Ten. And then, as I just started going crazy, I drifted over in this direction. It is trying to go full auto. I mean, this one doesn't have the full auto, but it's just really difficult to hold that thing and just go as fast as you can pull the trigger. But my God, it is fun. So uh, I think this baby's, I think this baby's get dead to go. 50 yards, we're dead, dead balls on. We're dead nuts accurate. Yeah, that's a ticket. Okay, so we are done with this beast. It is pretty much dead on as much as I can get without a uh, uh, actual thermal reflective item. Uh, everything I hit with the blowtorch cools down too quick. I mean, I can see it, but, you know, I'm still holding uh, uh, I still can't get dead on because it, it's just it's like a size of a golf ball fuzz but uh, when it's an animal it's gonna be dead on so I'm not worried about that so we're good now on to the next weapon of choice oh and I must say thank you Terry Fox uh, all rifles I'm testing today we're sent by Terry for us to demo and uh, hopefully uh, kill some pigs with. So any questions about air gun products, Fox Air Power is the man to talk to. Okay. Uh, let's crank this fan up. Woo! Um, now I believe if I remember correctly, uh, I was putting 45 in, 4,500 in this, and I was getting two shots with the 325 that are kissing. This happens to be uh, the Bush Pig. Um, I've done reviews on all these rifles already, so you can go back and check them out. Um, like I said, I just uh, going to bring spare rifles with me for backups and other fellas that have issues or need to borrow a weapon. We are ready. So uh, I decided... Uh, the piggly the piggly wiggly here is a good one to, to test um, so let's get uh, some juice in here close the old bleeder uh, I can hold that up like this without the uh, 4,000 that tink was the, the valve popping in there we are at 4,500 <clears throat> all the way back for full power down and then uh, ear protectors protectors uh, plugs uh, and these are designed for the ears uh, they're not plugs for the other parts of the human anatomy Enough of that, that's what she said. Okay, so. Uh, just relax. Safety fire. This is going to be a short damn video. <laughs> Just right above the first one. Oh, this is dead on. I don't have to do anything on this one. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, Again, this is the uh, uh, the carbine version of the bush buck, the bush pig. Uh, 
just got a standard uh, just a Accu something or other scope again Terry Fox sent this to me it's a 3x12 by 44 um, and I don't even have it uh, I don't have it zoomed in uh, I zoomed in a little bit okay I just yeah I zoomed in a little bit um, but not that much uh, so again the pig is two shots then refill so uh, yeah, we started at 45 and we're at 25 so that's about a thousand psi per shot which is uh, you know it's even Stevens that's why I like putting numbers in so people know what they're using how many fills they're gonna get because it happens all the time guys call me up mr. hollow point mr. hollow point uh, what's the lucky lottery numbers this week uh, well I always get those wrong so I gotta at least get something right so the reason I have the charts in the videos is for example let's say your your compressor broke or your bottle isn't working and you've got 3200 PSI in your gun that's all you got you can't put no more you know it's the last day opening you know season and you want to go shoot at 3200 PSI can I still shoot my rifle well what does the chart say you know for shot one to here to here shot two from here to here so it's like yeah uh, uh, 45 35 second shots usually at 35 so at 32 or 33 you're close enough yes you can still get another shot out of this still go hunting with you know any rifle you have but that's one other reason why I have the charts to give you an idea on air consumption so if you know you know if you print that out and it's like well you know I got 2800 in a gun is it good for at least one lethal shot you look at the chart and it's like well yeah I shot five times or four or whatever and this is the this printout so yeah that's another way you use the chart it's not just to give you a ballpark reference on bullet weights because sometimes you know I'm shooting let's say this is a 325 and you're going to shoot a 315 or a 330 or a 335 yeah as you're, you're up or down 10 grains that's still enough information to let you know that you're going to be a few feet a second faster or a few feet a second slower just it's a little bit you're still in the zone because that's it buddy you always want to be in the zone especially if it's the landing strip in the zone so the bush pig is good so we're done with that again all this is available uh, with uh, the T-Man go to Terry Fox Fox Air Power and uh, this sounds like a shameless plug but it kind of is because I'm a shameless individual ask my wife she tells you I was born with no shame and then this, this was the two uh, 325s from the bush pig I didn't come down and show you those but yeah that's bush pig hello again guys now we are working with the old uh, the new the old new Megalodon so uh, that I believe from the last video we were putting about 4500 in 44 45 based on what your chronograph tells you and uh, so we're gonna get the old uh, you know magazine set up here uh, we're using the 400 grain because we've discovered that the 400 is the best that I have for the mag uh, and if you go single shot the 460 uh, which is uh, a, a sweetheart uh, it's just a little heavier you know 60 grain so I may as time goes on uh, I may shave that 460 down to a 450 so it can fit in the mag but to be honest it's still a little heavy so I think the 400 is going to give you speed um, and punch and everything else for lunch so uh, that's uh, what is good with this as usual uh, da, 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 25 50 yeah. oh much crisper I do need to change I do need to put a fresh target down there so uh, give me a minute and we'll do that ok 
cat. Tighten up the old uh, the old bleeder here. Yeah. And again, guys, I use a booster pump here. Uh, all right, there we go, 4,500. Because it allows me to run these tanks and drain them down to about 2,000 PSI, but I can still boost to 4,500. A booster pump is it needed only if you do as much as what I refer to as industrial shooting as I do. When I'm testing a gun, I'm testing four to 600 bullets. It's two, three days of non-stop out here standalone. So I have mine set up for that. If you're just shooting, you know, at the most you shoot is 25 bullets at a session. You, should, you know, you got your little compressor, you know, or you got your bottle and, you know, but if you do as much as I do, then yeah, you know, you need it. So, um... All right, so now we got the mag, push it in. As always, because this is a pump action, forwards. And it is best if you're kind of pointing down and you're giving it a good whoo, because that way, you know, if, if you're catching the bullet on anything, you're still able to drive it through. Um, oh, well, here's one problem. I forgot to turn my fan on. Got to have that. Miss, I've already went to the post office and dropped off everybody's bullets. Now the question is, is uh, where am I looking at? I thought I was. Oh, there we go. There we go. When I was had it, while I was lining it up, I had the pump action forwards open. And that uh, raised it up further now that it's down. Because I got this scope forward. You know, a little normal shouldering. It's not, uh, there we go. I think we're there, guys. I think we're there. Let's uh, add some fresh paper and do it again. All right, heathens. So, shots one, two, three. That's four right there on the outside. Right there. That's tight. That's toy like a toy gun. And then there's five. So that's why I said one through four at 50 yards should be giving you a good quarter size nut. So uh, I'm pleasantly pleased. And then this, this was the two uh, 325s from the bush pig. Uh, I didn't come down and show you those, but yeah, that's bush pig Megalodon 58 mag. Uh, very impressed with this mag. Um, you know, I mean, you have to have a little more work. You got to you know, stroke it there, but uh, it pumps out pretty good. So, very happy with that. And uh, of course, 
there's my uh, my brand new dinger dinger hundred and thirty nine dollars from Amazon uh, comes with two dingers but I just wanted these one so I could put it behind the bullseye uh, for that way we know you know how far we away we are um, yeah, that's that's been doing really good yeah a lot of uh, a lot of bullet splatting going on so, uh, yeah yeah pretty uh pretty stoked so gentlemen and ladies uh, and you get any freaks of the other persuasion so the mag is pretty damn sweet I gotta say um, so far, out of all the 58s that I've shot, this is giving me the tightest group. So it is it is internally tweaked slightly better because I'm getting you know three and shots one through three and one through four at 50 yards are really really tight. So I'm I'm very very pleased with that. Again, get out of here. I'll show you my baldness and blind you. So. Uh, Dependent upon your regulator gauge, uh, 42, 4400 PSI seems to be, you know, uh, that's your power level. Um, you know, your chronograph is your best friend. I mean, I could put 45 with my gauge, and it could read 43 with your gauge. So that's why I said a chronograph is your best friend. Your first shot should always be your fastest. If not, you're getting a little bit of valve lock. You don't want... A bell curve. Bell curves are for people who are trying to get 10 shots out of a gun. What the hell's the point of starting at 700 PSI on shot one? It's shot five hitting 900 PSI, and it's shot 10, you're back down to 700. I mean, your shot strings are going to go bing, 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 bing. Okay? That's pointless. You know, in the old days, yeah, it was part of research and development. How many shots could you get? What's it doing? But to be 100% honest, your first shot should always be your fastest. So, um, I found that out with the tuned, uh, when Will Piot was alive, I had a tuned Dragon Claw 50. And it's like, yeah, you could fill it to 3,000 PSI and get 10 shots, but it's 600 to 850 back down to 600 at 2600 that was the peak right there that was the fastest shot so why are you going to fill it to 3000 and just waste bullets and waste air i mean you know if you're donald trump rich and you want to waste it fine you know but if you're feeling the pain in the backside from camilla harris you got the camel toe burn you want to be economy with it don't waste air and don't waste bullets so that's what's going on so again, all of this can be got, bought at uh, Fox Air Power. Uh, Terry Fox is your man. Uh, give him a call, shoot him a text, send him an email, uh, you know, an Instagram, uh, smoke signals, carrier pigeon, you know, you get a hold of him. He'll help you out with whatever you need. If you need any question on bullets, talk to the big bopper here. But out of everything that I make, the 400 grain is the only bullet I recommend in this gun for the magazine and the 460 in the single shot in the single shot tray or you just feed it single shot so the other bullets did not just don't like this barrel configuration so um, I'm not going to push you to buy bullets that I know to me aren't going to be accurate so I think I have uh, taken up all your time uh, shared with you uh, just some of the rifles we're going to take to the uh, Ted Nugent pork slam and we'll see. I still haven't made my mind up on which one I'm going to kill something with. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, that's it, gentlemen. Thank you for watching. And we'll come back at you uh, maybe when it's not so hot. <laughs>